Hello. <laughs> I just noticed that there's coffee in my beard. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Say hello, hello, hello from good old Cologne. <laughs> nice intro, yes. Um, hello, I hope you guys had a great weekend. We're listening to some Jeremy Soul. And uh, I'm drinking the coffee that sticks to my beard. Today's, uh, today, not today, oh, still, again, can you see that? I really have to cut that. <laughs> I, I look more like a hobo every day. <laughs> we love it. Great. <laughs> So yeah, but you guys embrace the hobo look because I said I will cut it down once that project is done, right? There's actually two challenges now. Eating that habanero and cutting the beard down once the project is done. But maybe I'll just let it grow until I really look like a hobo. You survived Friday. Oh yes, so on Friday I was uh, on the on the Christmas market with my wife and her co-workers and then I went to the old company guys. So my my old place of work uh, which is Elastique in Cologne and they had a little party. And I went there. And I was drunk AF. <laughs> yes. And, by the way, guys, good news from the dog front. I am adopting a little puppy dog. We visited her yesterday. And it's looking uh, f fantastic. So, tonight will be the last call where they check the, the apartment and how it looks and everything. And then later this week, maybe we can already adopt her. And she will come here. So... Very excited. She's very, very cute. We spent like an hour with her yesterday. And uh, it's the cutest thing ever. She's like a little bit shy still. But uh, it's going to be amazing. And she's tiny, tiny and it's very soft. She has very soft fur. And it's, it's amazing. I was uh, very much in love. Yeah. And it's going to be our little baby. <laughs> Also, maybe we should listen to the NPC music. Who's in for the NPC music? <laughs> Wait, where is it? Here it is. Hello. <laughs> so another NPC will soon join uh, the midst of our stream. Right? So yes. Also, the wife asked uh, if you guys have a name for a social media account for her like something funny, then let us know. Her her name will be Mala, like Mala Singer from Fight Club. <laughs> you know? Mala. Mala is a good name. I'm very bearded. All right. So, guys, how was your weekend? Let uh, Tell me all about it. I want to know, how was your weekend? What did you eat? Uh, was it as cold as it was here? Um, everything. Did you wo watch the final, the World Cup final yesterday? Uh, I didn't watch it, but I heard it was uh, uh, nerve-wracking and exciting. Good morning, Avoid. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I heard it was exciting and very nerve-wracking and it was a very nice game and I'm happy for everyone who watched it. I have to turn it down a little bit. Yes. So, if you want to share, let me know. If not, it's also fine. I think today we're going to do another round of R&DR shots and uh, let them render over R&DR. And then we're pretty much done with these void shots. And then the next thing we're going to do is probably 6088 AD renderings. 
Uh, weekend was cool. I don't watch football, but work. Oh, nice. So you you just did some three D, Tommy. Also, uh, just a heads up. Today won't be a full day stream, so I will only stream until three p.m. my time zone. We have eleven fourteen now, which means we gotta yeah stream roughly till 3 p.m. so four hours and uh, because I have to do some preparations and clean up the apartment a little bit because uh, people gonna see it and yeah just make a good impression on the people who are giving us this dog right <laughs> yes I have an exam today studying oh you have an exam oh, 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 oh. well I wish you very all the luck in the world Ivan I, I, I hope you will pass it and you're well prepared. And if not, I will st or still wish you all the luck. All, all my fingers are crossed. Do you know in Germany, we don't say fingers are crossed. We say thumbs are pressed, <laughs> which translates to Daumen sind gedrückt. <laughs> Great, right? <laughs> All right, Zafata, good morning to you. Kiki, ki. or as we say in Delphi, Kiki. Ki, ki, ki. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All righty. People are coming in. Hello, hello. Welcome to everyone. Stand up morning. Oh, do you, you have stand up meeting right now? Maybe suggest that that. They put me on the screen and I say hello to the whole crowd. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> from from the uh from the command central of uh Zomaxian Cologne. You're doing stand up comedy. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> My jokes aren't good enough for that, I think. But yes doggo so who wants to see the doggo i can show you the doggo i i i want to show you the doggo guys so that's the doggo this little fella uh so right now her name is randy that's what they said we can change that so it will be marla this is the little marla and she's very soft and very cute, a little bit shy. And she barks sometimes. Like she goes, she's like a little bit insecure still, right? So he looks, she she, she looks at you and she's all like, like, uh, I don't know what you're up. Uh, you are tall and big and human. <laughs> and I just got to bark at you. And then she chews, uh, like she takes everything you give her, she takes in her mouth and brings it to her place. So she has like all assortments of, of, of toys there. Uh, yeah, she's very cute. She's uh, six months old, almost six months old. And um, yeah, it's, well, it's, it's going to be so exciting. She's a little, little uh, Dax Hound mix. Like he's she's not one hundred percent Dax Dax sound, but she has short legs and is, has a noodle body. Mala in Spanish translates as bad, by the way. No, it's it's Marla, like M A R L A, like this one from Fight Club. <laughs> you know, Marla singer from Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> in the Netherlands, we call them tackle. Oh yeah, I, I heard that. Yeah. In in um in Germany we call them Dackel. Like Dackel and Tackle. That's just like very you, I think they are Tackle, they are even called that in, in Germany sometimes. Yeah, so uh, she's named after this one of the very, very, very great film of David Fincher, Fight Club or other films where she played in, but this is like, I think one of the best roles. Yes, the little Marla. And yeah, she's gonna be a guest on stream soon. So I will bring her to the stream and be like, look, 
That's, that's your extended internet family now. <laughs> Maybe we can install a dog cam or something. I don't know. It's gonna be amazing. Alrighty. So guys, shall we start the day? Uh, I can show you what we did uh, last week. Last week we did this. Right, so we have that tooth and the sausage containment. And so that's two shots for each of them. And then we did the gachapon machine as well. So yeah, when we fixed a bunch of problems with that. Um, so and that means that we have two more shots to go no four more shots to go but two scenes really and these will be this one and this one going to make a coffee anyone want one uh that's nice of you to ask i already have one but uh maybe later arts quiff <laughs> also, good morning. <laughs> yeah, so this one's gonna be with the fog, uh, uh, gonna be be animated or is already animated with the moss flying around, and then the cash register. Um, yes, and uh, why don't we just start, guys? What do you say? So R and R, I already prepared that because. I'm a smart bee. <laughs> no, but it's um, the the thing, the problem, there's like one problem I'm not sure about. So we, as you can see, we have like a lot of uh, motion blur going on here. And I'm still not 100% sure if the moths, moths are gonna work out the way I think they should. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, I can show you that because, um, like, we have that animation folder here. I think that's artsy05. Also, we can delete that. Output, rendered, backup. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. Um, I don't know which one it was. I think that's the one we want to look at. So we are opening that in standalone because uh, we can just observe that better. And there's like one one tiny problem. I don't know if that's a standalone problem or if that's gonna be a problem on r and &R as well, but we will see, right? I got a question about the motion blur on r and &R. The default is it's 0 0.5, but it's uh, is that correct? I mean, I have a comp of 24 FPS. I should change it to value, uh, should, should sorry. I should change that value for 0 0.02. So um, the settings for motion blur in C4D are different. So I can explain that to you, Ivan. It's um, it's a little bit confusing, but um, so Ahmed, the guy who wrote the uh, C4D plugin, uh, he didn't use the settings that are used in, in the standalone. Uh, I think that's because in the standalone, the, the motion blur uh, adapts automatically to whatever FPS range you set, and you can't do that in in um, in C4D. So in C4D, you have pretty much have a camera, right? And you say, okay, I want to, for example, I want a 180 degree shutter. That means it will just you 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 take the the FPS of your shot, like for example, 30, right? So then you go to the calculator and say, okay, 30 through one, uh, no, sorry. So one second divided by 30 is that, and that you do take 50% of that, right? Divide that by two and you have like 0 0.016. And that's the value for your shutter 50% because you have a 360 degree opening right for your lens or for in front of your film and the 180 degree shutter takes half a turn so 50% right 
And in R&DR, the settings are different. So 0.5 just means 50%. And it automatically halves the, the uh, values you have in there in a correct way. So you don't have to calculate your frame output or the FPS uh, and divide them by one and then take half of that. It already did that. So 0 0.5 just means it's a 180 degree shutter. And that's correct. So if you leave it like that and you want a 180 degree shutter, Ivan, you're golden. I started playing God of War halfway through and man, I love it. That first boss fight right at the beginning is a cinematic masterpiece. The whole game is a cinematic masterpiece. It's incredible. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, the PS5 will arrive today. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> um, the dark PS5, that's the best Christmas I will ever have. <laughs> All right, now I can show you uh, uh, the problem I have. So when we want to uh, see something in, in Octane Render, we just click on the render target, and then it will start to render the scene. Right, and then you can see this. And what it will do, it will, uh, in this, in our case, we don't have, that's the first frame, right? So frame zero does not have any motion blur. If we go to frame five, for example, um, then we have motion blur. But I don't know, maybe that's a thing with emotion blur and it's it's gonna render all right, but I don't know. That late night trying the new games, missed that. Oh yeah, I feel you. Also, uh, there's like a bot here. Can some can can one mod ban that one please and kick that uh kick kick him in the nuts, please? <laughs> oh wait, can I do that? I can do that too. Oh thank you very much. Tom, Tom, your 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 godsend. <laughs> All right, so you can see here we have the motion blur. I think it looks correct. I would say, uh, but on frame zero it does not. We will see how that turns out. Um, I think safest thing to do would just uh, to render that uh, piece of work on R and R. Uh, yeah, and we prepared that already, so we uploaded that. Um, we have all these shots lined up. Uh, and we can just create jobs for each of them and render them, I would say. Hello, Dino. How are you? I've heard, I've, I've read your, your post about the shortage of medicine. Um, and I've um, I already also heard it in the news. It's pretty gnarly, actually. And um, someone told me that it, this is because uh, we we don't have like a strong immune system right now. I didn't think of that, but it got me thinking over the weekend. Your post, and uh, I hope there will be you you get get the stuff you need, like the ibuprofene and and stuff you know all right um yes also welcome dino to good morning to you and i hope you had a okayish weekend <coughs> um yes all right shall we do uh r and dr magic now I think it's it's time. So we create new jobs for each of them, and then uh, then we'll wait and see if that if it worked. <laughs> Alrighty. So we use Aces for everything because it's the best. Yeah, our immune system is fucked because we wore masks for two years. We got our stuff, but I had to drive with. Uh, 80 kilometers to the city to get the last available dose of antibiotics for our daughter one minute before the pharmacy closed. Oh shit. If you... So I know plenty of doctors, Dino. 
also I have some in my family. If there's like an emergency, I don't know, I can ask at least, right? And uh, maybe they have stuff here or I don't know. So if you if there's the, the need again, um I can I can ask some friends. Or my 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 dad is actually also a doctor, so yeah. So I don't know, maybe I I mean it doesn't hurt to ask, right? <laughs> so if there's still um like the thing that you really direly need something and maybe I can just mail it to you. Just hit me up on DMs and I asked my dad and maybe can maybe they have something still. I don't know, it's probably everywhere. You like especially like in a big city uh, like Cologne, there's probably probably even worse, but I don't know. All right. I might I might I might just ask. <clears throat> All right. Um so 32 bit DWAP ACCG. Yes, yes, yes. Continue. We want priority. We want these. Uh, okay, that we don't know. That I have to check. Um, that's Art CO5, right? Uh, I don't know which one. Let's. I think both of them are equally sized. So let's just. Um, is it that one? Yes. Oh, no, I don't know which one is that. Cam 8, right? That's... Well, I, don't... I forgot. Cam 6. Oh, it's a completely different one. Okay. Then just give me a second. Uh, cam six will be here. This one, uh, uh, yeah, RSV is the urban sickness, as we were told by the doctors. That's combined with the flu results in a low stock for all kinds of treatments in urban pharmacies. Yeah, it's uh, it's that bacterial thing, right? RSV, it's not like a virus thing, it's bacterial infection of the breathing system something like that i don't i'm not like super informed about that but i i heard heard it in the news on the radio that people uh that that there's no medicine like cough syrup and stuff it's also gone um all right so octane number six that's fine now we just find out how much vram that bitch takes and then And how much time? I heard that the uh, health minister is proposing a medicine flu mark for neighbors to share meds. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not, right? I mean, they won't share benzos or stuff like that, right? It's just like over-the-counter uh, things like ibuprofen and 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 then probably antibiotics all right so we are at 5.8 that means six gigs we need six we have an octane bench of 1300 oh scary stuff yesterday i uh had like a bsod and one of my uh gpus glitched out at like the uh, like like weird artifacts on one monitor, and then there was like a blue screen, and yeah, select eight gigs. Oh, why? All right, let's do that. Gonna select eight gigs just for the headroom. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Time per frame. So how long? How long? Okay, that's tw 12 minutes, nine minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. 
Okay, let's say seven minutes. Seven minutes. Create the job. Okie dokie. Mochi mochi. <laughs> uh alrighty so reset this one also hi omega fox i hope you had a great weekend you are healthy and uh, in a good mood i will adopt a doggy this week i don't know if you were here when i told that but it, it's gonna happen it's a thing now that's cam number seven um Okie dokes. So this one is all uh, nice, I guess. And hi too. My 4090 died, but I'm okay. Oh, yes. That's sad. Uh, I also had glitches here, and I hope not that my 3090 will die. At that blue screen, that was... I don't know. Wait, I can check. That's the wrong one. Wait, uh, I had that. Um, wait, I have to check the, the exact uh, error code I had. It was a video scheduler internal error. And uh, Reddit was like immediately on, on like, yep, your card's gonna die. And was like, uh, but um, maybe it's like an overall thing that can happen with the driver. Maybe it was just a driver bug. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I'm sad for you. Do you still have, I think you have warranty. So if the 4090 dies that early, right? So you can send it back and get your money back at least. Still, you will miss that one. But hey, right. Uh, what tier do you render them on R&DR uh, priority? So compression, ACES. Uh, then the name will be Mala, like Mala Singer from. So that's her. Her current name is Randy. And oh s shit, sorry. Hello. So her current name will be Randy. Uh, her current name is Randy, and her name will be Mala. So, fingers crossed. There's still one hurdle we have to pass, but it's pretty, they, they, they were pretty, pretty happy with us. And we were pretty, they, they said she was very much at ease with us there. And, and yeah, it's a sausage. Yes. It's a little noodle, a dog noodle. Uh, okay. 32 DWAB ACCG. That's fine. So we take priority tier, 8 gigs. Octane bench is 1,300. It takes, I don't know how many minutes per frame. We will see. I just joked in our internal chat to call r and Randy. <laughs> That's actually cool. <laughs> It's funny how complicated it is to have a dog, but super easy to have a cat. Yeah, it's weird. Like you buy a cat and you just have it and it's just like self-sustaining pretty much. But um, dog, you have to get all these permits. Like, yeah. Hey, what prompt did you use? <laughs> Hello, Crackers VR and welcome to the party. Um... Uh, so the prompt uh, I, I used for that is uh, boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. So I watch Zomax on company time. Um, and uh, good morning. Uh, out, out of our lives. Uh, yes, we did the, get the doggy. It's not here yet, but we are pretty like 80% like we got it. There's like still one thing left to do, uh, but uh, we will get it this week maybe even. So this will take how long per frame? Let's say three minutes. So three minutes per frame, creating that job. Epic. Um, 
So all in progress, alrighty. That means we can go to scene number eight. Oh no, number nine, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, and no, that's number eight, right? Oh yeah, maybe one of the R and the R people can uh, help me with that. So I have, I have this one shot here, like no, these two shots here. Wait, is that number eight? Yes. And so on frame number zero, there is no motion blur in the ORBX. Also, good morning, Martin. How are you? And so I baked the moths and everything, but it's just not showing up in here. And I, I, my theory is that's just like a bug in, or not a bug, but it's just like a thing here. Uh, do you use a custom LUT in your scene or Octane default LUT? Uh, LUT? I don't use any LUT. I use just Aces CG. But not with a LUT. So there's no LUT in there. Right, so they don't have any motion blur. They have at frame one, though. I mean, I can just leave out frame one. That shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, like frame zero, I mean. But uh, maybe, you know. Maybe you have an idea why that is. Also, like I mashed, uh, like I baked them down into a lambic, and the lambic is even like it has like goes from minus ten to one hundred. Uh, it needs the motion velocity, so you so you would need to export from frame minus one. Ah, uh, okay, I exported from frame zero. Well, too bad, but hey, doesn't matter now then we'll just miss one frame. That's also okay. Uh, all right, so that's frame, uh, that's number nine. We don't have number nine open, I think, but we can do that. So we go here, number nine. Yeah, so that's actually not in the animatic, this one. I just animated that off stream pretty much. Uh, which should be okay, I guess. We'll see how that one uh, turns out. Now we just have to find out how much VRAM it takes. This is all fine, I would say. This is usually always fine. And we change just that. Like a preset for that would be cool. Just have like an option here to say, hey, I just always want that. Because like, I guess I would never will use any other setting. <laughs> so I will always do that EXR output thing as a standard output. Um, priority, yes, we want to use the tokens uh, that we have to check now. It takes three, so I think six gigs should be enough. Uh, tokens, yes. And then let's say one three hundred. And that's uh, awful long. Uh, great, cause after major update on r, &R seems like custom nuts aren't working anymore. Talk to Spot and Tom seems big issue. But why are you using a custom LUT? on in octane like why do you need LUTs like can't you just use aces cg and put a LUT on there afterwards isn't that better anyway isn't a, using like baking a LUT into the beauty isn't it like using magic bullet and then just baking that in. <laughs> so you're the guy who used magic bullet. No, sorry, I'm just, I'm just kidding. 
I would only use LUTs in post. Yeah, same. Um, like even if it's just like an, you could pretty much do an ACCG transform in, in a LUT, I guess, but I wouldn't do that in the, um, uh, I wouldn't put, put that into the, uh, I wouldn't bake that in. I was working with ACES, but the tone mapping was too heavy. So creating custom lot with own tone mapping collaborating. So I don't have to do it in post. Um, The tone mapping was too heavy, but if you set up your scene in ACES, it should actually look very decent. Maybe there's like something wrong with your ACES setup. Like, hmm. I like having like a custom LUT that's just like, it sounds like it's gonna create problems down the whole pipeline. I, prob what I would do, I would just use ACES CG bake it down to Rec 709 or sRGB and grade it just so it looks okay. It was with an older version of Octane. So I would, if I were you, I would at least use 2021.1.6. Uh, 1.1.6, I mean. Um, yeah, that's better. Because we had like actually some uh, nested dielectric error box and misbehavior in in um in a version before that so yeah or even use the latest one okay let's say that's 10 minutes per frame so 1310 minutes per frame create that job nice uh so we have six seven nine only one to go and then we can chat number nine create a job here and that's all fine exr output dwad acc uh, we want these oh jesus what did i do oh no did I, did i forget to click on that can I stop that? <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, okay. Um, stop that job. Oh, can I change that? I can do that for you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Fox. I don't have any money. <laughs> I gotta be poor. <laughs> there goes all the crypto money, everything. And it's gone. <laughs> Oops. Um, and for Arquis, Aces wasn't that great. Uh, I have no idea uh, with Arquis, but um, uh, yeah. I, I find like Aces is the greatest thing that happened in a while to CG. I think Aces is pretty amazing. Everything looks way better than just using linear. Like I that's I, I had the same thing when I went from like rendering everything in, in 8 bit JPEGs <laughs> to rendering working in linear workflow like the the options you have right and then um like that was like yes i need that and now aces is just the same but it also looks good <laughs> because linear does not necessarily look that great it's all all, all very flat and everything Wait, can I can I just refresh that? What do I have to do, Omega Fox? It's ticking down. I'm minus three euro. Can I just pay by three euro? <laughs> I, am I in trouble now? I don't know. I, I pretty much owe R and R money now.
Oh. Oh. Okay, we have a problem. Uh, what's going on here? That does not look good. Uh, these are looking good. Uh, but, um... These are not. <laughs> uh, maybe it's uh, a fault on my side, though. Two jobs were cancelled at the same time. Oopsie. <laughs> it's okay. So that's that one. Because the fail here, I have like a lot of failed. Um... It's probably because you cancelled them, right? And it's just a UI thing for me. Ah, okay. Yeah. So no issue with the scene, guys. Uh, sh shall I resubmit these two? Or did you already do that? Also, can you give me your PayPal address? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do I have to do something about that? Because I, pr I think I pretty much owe you guys money now, right? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, so duplicate this one. Uh, they are all fine. That's also okay. Good morning, Senor Flamingo. Uh, that also looks good. When are your frames? Yes. Uh, I don't know what, what I put in here. Uh, I think that was the... I don't know. 16, 6, 10, let's say 10. <laughs> okay. So this one I can just delete, I would say. Let's delete this. And this is just rendering away. Wait. So that's just using the credits now, right? No. Okay, so I should duplicate that as well, I guess. Yes. Yes, all right, I see. Priority, eight gigs, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how long that was, I don't know, four minutes or something. Let's say three minutes, create job. All right, so stop this one. Stop in progress frames and job and everything. And then we just delete that one, yes. Okay, so wait, we have number nine. Yes, sir, okay, that's this one. Sick. Um. Good morning and early happy Christmas and New Year. Turned 22 on the 13th. This guy's, uh, how, how is everyone? Hey, happy birthday, Jazz. Also, good, good morning, um, 
Senior Flamingo. Did I say that already? I don't know. I forgot. Good morning in any case. So, wait. What's missing? Cam number eight, right? Yes. So, cam number eight is... Uh, do we already have that open? Yes, sir. <laughs> How enthusiastic today. So, in, in I will just repeat what I said. I will get a little doggy. Also means we're not going uh, to do a full stream today. So, only to 3 p.m. Because I have to clean the apartment a little bit because the dog we will do a video call with the with the with the uh, like with the shelter it's not really a shelter but you know and they want to see the apartment three and it takes i don't know five minutes okay let's say five minutes this is all fine exr output Nope, nope, nope. Priority. Um, wait, was it three? No, five. Sorry. Uh, what are you naming the render support executive uh, Mala? Yes, Randy. Randy's gonna like right now. She's named Randy, but uh, that's her. And that's gonna be our our little doggo. We met her yesterday, and it was very cute. Like chain? I don't know. What do you mean? by chain marla like the the marla singer from fight club <laughs> hitting name for dog right <laughs> oh there's so many great stories around the marla character like there was that oh no i can't probably can't say that on stream even though it's from the movie. <laughs> Still. Uh, why is that getting a dog process so thorough? Why do they need to see your apartment? It's not like you're adopting a child. Um, it's just uh, having a dog is a little bit more work than having a cat and they just want to make sure. Like, I don't think it's the problem when you go to, to like a breeder, you can just spend 5K or I don't know how much a dog, 2K. And then they give you the dog and they breed it for you pretty much. But since she's from uh, she's from Romania, right? And she like they that's the rescue organization. So they rescue the dogs and they want to make sure they have a great life and the people who get the dog are a little bit financially more stable so they can afford uh, eventual operations and surgeries or I don't know, stuff like that, right? And uh, they they just want to make sure that the dog isn't, like, suffering again. <laughs> so they check, okay, is the, is the apartment big enough? Is there enough room for the dog to have its own, like, little space and everything? And, yeah. Randy will help you rendering. Yes, she will. Like, I don't know, actually. Like, with a cat, it's not that difficult. You could... Like, I mean, you can get pretty much go to, to, to Craigslist in Germany and say, hey, I want a cat, and you will get one. Uh, probably also with a dog, you could just do that. But, yeah. Um, okay, so that's rendering fine. Uh, this one is rendering fine too. Just a tiny bit slow. But... I guess that's okay. Mala the Dog Tracer. The thing is, uh, by the way, if you guys have cool names for social media accounts, my we, we just want to film her and make cute videos of her. Like, obviously, we don't want to exploit her or anything, but if she's 
like she's a little goofy character, right? And maybe we can share that with the world. If you have an idea for a cool, cool, cool uh, uh, name for her, uh, for her, for her TikTok account, <laughs> rendering. That's that's the like. Dino just told me that that was like the internal name for RDR. It was Randy. <laughs> it's actually fitting. Why is this one so slow though? Or is it even slow? I mean, not that I mind. Just wondering. Not enough notes. How big is the RBX of this one? Camo 6 is not that big, I guess. Or maybe it's the big one, yeah. Oh yeah, it's the big one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it's the big one. So the RBX is 15 gig and the camera uh, I zipped it so it's half the size, but yeah. So they just take the notes just take more time downloading it, I guess, and then that would mean uh, they start slower. Hello, Wolf. How are you? Mala the dog tracer rendering. <laughs> I actually find that pretty amazing that you can upload zip files and it's just like you save fifty percent of the space. It's just like zip takes two minutes. It's fifty percent of the size. And like, that's incredible. My note just powered on. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Uh, everything is cool with me. How many scenes are left to render? Uh, a few more. Also, good morning. Hylmoth. Upload a native C4D virus, export it over X will be even better for file sizes. Is this tier 2? Uh, which one? You mean this one? I think that's the priority tier. Every Everything is... Tier two, yes. Every every one of them is. Yeah, they just like the data size is just too big. So that would take a while. So that's going to be very interesting for the very big one, the main, 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 main shot, <laughs> you know, the big boy with the, with the corner store and everything where you see everything. It's going to be even bigger. Did you get the doggy? Yes, sir. It's not here yet, but um, like also like the final, we don't have the date yet. It, they she they, they she said like the um the woman from the 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 adoption shelter thing like it's not really a shelter it's just like they they have like something that's called the pflegestation which is just like a step in between adoption and bringing the dog to germany uh, where they just take care of it it's just like known professionals with dogs you know and uh, they they take care of the dog and wash them and and be like and and just let them settle in a little bit and feed them right and they they know their way around dogs and she said uh, that the dog uh, could be here this week 
So we have our final call with her tonight. And then we will show her the apartment. And yeah. Like we did all the paperwork already. And so this morning my wife sent the final uh, documents and I'm very excited. Kern at the font. Hello, hello, hello to you. How are you? But yeah, I'm extremely excited. Yesterday night, like I went to bed at 12 a.m. I was all um, on a like at a birthday from a friend of mine, and when I went home, I couldn't sleep. So I watched Indiana Jones, uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I still couldn't sleep. It was like 3 a.m. before when when I finally could close my eyes because I was so excited. Yeah. Indiana Jones though. What a great movie. Like the all of them. Like Raiders. Um Last Crusade is pr probably my favorite. I, I have to say. Temple of Doom is also cool, but it's like I think that's my least favorite of them. But uh Raiders, yeah. Raiders and and Last Crusade. Epic. Uh, good morning, MDev. <laughs> so, by the way, guys, fun fact, I met MDev on Friday. <laughs> Just like, oh, hi. Uh, by the way, I'm MDev. <laughs> yes, uh, we met at a, a party of of uh, people we we both know. Like my, my old workplace... Uh, they did like a Christmas party and, and they rented like a bar and um, they invited me and then all of a sudden Emda was there <laughs> because he, he apparently knows them as well. So, yeah. So that shows the world is small and you should be nice to everyone. <laughs> because you don't know where they show up. <laughs> oh, the 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 that that person is, is there again. Hodenmeister, brew house, mom. She 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 shall make the soup. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. But hey, Hodenmeister. I hope you have a great. Christmas time. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, that's almost done. That's almost done. Uh, that's not almost done, but almost at least far enough. Hello, Law. How are you? So Hodenmeister, what I <laughs> Hodenmeister, do you have like your other name I can use? Or can I, I call you Meister? So what's what's in for Christmas? Are you visiting the family for some soup? Uh are we doing something this week? Like a render thingy? Um yeah, I mean we are rendering right now, like not really locally, but uh yeah, and this week will be uh, uh, overshadowed by adopting that doggo, so it's it's probably it's probably not gonna be um, f like the day the dog will arrive here. I won't stream. Um, probably also not the day after. And at some point, uh, also I will do the Christmas break. So I think maybe we do today tomorrow wednesday and then i take just a break for christmas probably people will go to to their families as anyways and then there's like stuff to do for us with the dog and play like take a little care for him a little bit more maybe i will stream between the holidays like here but not sure maybe also take that off and 
either way, it's just that time. It's just barely two weeks, and then we'll see each other in January again. I had to change my name here on Twitch. It was against the community guidelines. Well, that's... Uh... Yes, I can understand why. <laughs> Um, I have to be honest, I had a wall, cannot come up with a decent concept to make. A uh, concept for what? A piece like an image? So my suggestion, if you need a concept, find something you like. Like, there's, there's like, probably a video, a book, a story, um, a game, a song, something you like, right? Something you really enjoy looking at. And then you just take that and be inspired by that and just copy that. I like girls with big booties. Well, who who doesn't? What does, uh, so Hoden means a testicle. So he's the testicle master. Oh yeah, balls. Also that. By the way, let's go for Harvest Dawn again. Some more NPC music. Or shall we listen to something else? Wait, we can maybe... Something like that. Great. Great IGN for, for urologist. <laughs> It's actually borrowed from a famous Counter-Strike dude. I don't know who who is that famous Counter-Strike dude. I'm learning Speedtree, by the way. Such a powerful program. Yes, that's also on my list. So I need to learn Speedtree at some point. Okay, so this one is done, actually. Shall we already start downloading that? Uh, maybe. Let's review these frames. Um, so it's probably good if we... Wait, why does that one have a watermark and the others don't have one? Interesting. Oh, this one has one too. Is that, is that normal or is it just like some have one? I don't know. Uh, I will learn velocity to compete with you guys. Um, by the way, have you guys tried doing it with Mid Journey to come up with interesting concepts for Uh I did, but not with the current version. So I can't tell you about that. Okay, I guess it looks fine. We'll see. Um, accept all of them. <laughs> and then we go here. And then we have to start the J download. <laughs> Mid journey V4 is too overpowered. Yeah, I have that, that the thing, like, I actually don't know what my opinion is on that. Like the, all that, the, the whole AI take, like people are super against it. Artists, I understand them. Like, I can understand the frustration with that. I, I can't feel that. Like, there's artists who spend, like, years learning that craft, and there's, like, some tech bro typing in some prompts and be like, you am an artist now. I can understand the frustration with that. On the other hand, I feel like it's, like, the same thing. Like it's a technology. It's what people do with that that like the technology isn't a bad thing it's like that the guy like that lion 5b or what that archive is called that there's like pictures that are in there without permission i get the frustration with that it's also actually there's pictures of me like um 
like my 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 um my pieces are in there i also don't i don't think that's cool but i mean shit happens right <laughs> I, it's just too complicated. Like the whole topic, it's not just black and white. And I have really have a hard time to nail down like my stance on that because it's like, yeah, it, it's that part sucks. That part is awesome. And it's just like, not, I can't like be like, oh, yeah, I hate AI. AI is bad because I don't think AI is bad. I think AI is pretty awesome. I think stealing from artists is bad, but AI doesn't steal from artists. It's just like people who steal from artists. AI is a technology. So it's complicated. And yeah. There uh, seems to be a lot of kickback from concept artists on Midjourney at the moment. Looks like they're lawyering, law, lawyering up. Yeah, I can feel why concept artists are afraid. But um, yeah, so I'm a 3D artist. That's a little bit different maybe, but yeah. Uh, not everyone has the time to become an artist. Train 1,000 hour, hours to become good. Well, that's not my problem though. <laughs> maybe they should just... Like, that's like a lame excuse just because someone is lazy and can't make the time being like, well, I like the argument that there's like that is gatekeeping and everyone should be allowed to be an artist. No, not everyone can be an artist. It's like not everyone can be a good musician. Not everyone can. Not not everyone can be a great cook. It's just some things are not for everyone. Like, I don't know, you can, if you want to be an artist, it's pretty cheap to become a good artist. Like, like, also like saying you need a good computer to become a 3D artist, this is bullshit. You can do 3D on your phone if you want. Like, I, I don't know. It's like the excuse, like, yeah, I, I, I want to do great art uh, and just type in some prompts. I mean, that's cool, but they shouldn't expect that people are, like, valuing that the same way, <laughs> you know? Hello, Defective. Thank you so much for four months. Of course, it's like better to do 3D not on the phone and on a big PC, but still. Sounds a bit like first world white dude, black or white talking. I mean, people say that's gate, the gatekeepy uh, uh, opinion that I can understand that, yeah. But I don't think like. I just want to say I, I understand the frustration some people have. I also find it pretty lame how they react in a way. And that's why, why, why I said I have like a really hard time to find my standpoint there because I don't have one really. Yes, I understand like every side of that. It's, I don't know, it's super complicated for me to have like a clear point. Obviously, I don't want to to be like I want, don't want like so. I took like the case. There's like some person, right? And he the the person wants to streamline the art process. Says, okay, art like I have a product, and art is one uh, step of work in there, right? So I need some artist to create art for me, and when I can streamline that. Uh, I don't want to pay the artist because I have the AI, right? So he thinks, hey, there's this Cornelius dude and his art is pretty amazing, but I don't want to pay the Cornelius dude. I'd rather take the AI that's trained on his images. So uh, it's cheaper and faster. And I don't like that. I just don't like that. He shall pay me or fuck off and hire another artist but not use my 
my my my my image is to train his AI because that I don't know then I'm out of business right <laughs> so that that thought is pretty clear for me but it's not as simple as that really um may I recommend steering away from the subject it's so deep we could talk for months and never come to a conclusion yeah I mean I probably pissed off a lot of people now <laughs> so, sorry it's just yeah like I see so so that's that's what I meant I have like seen posts from both sides that are super cringe and like like super like hot takes and yeah I don't know probably it's also bullshit with the with the gatekeeping shit I just said about like not everyone should be a 3D artist but imagine like there's like some person who just does AI shit with prompts and comparing his work to mine and be like yeah I'm an artist too look how good I am or look how I'm even better than you I'm faster now I'm a better artist than you Cornelius you worked 20 years on that on your craft I worked a week on mine I'm still already better than you I don't know it just just like hurts my ego <laughs> so <laughs> maybe he is yeah maybe probably there's probably some 13 year old guy who does 3d for for half a year that's better than me <laughs> it's, it's very well possible um all right so that's wrong um we go to the renderings that's highest p renderings now we have to concentrate a little bit so cam number five uh that's artsy 04 which means cam number seven, cam O seven, right? Can I just do that and then do that? That should be it, right? And then we download that bitch. I mean, the ego, of course, of course there's ego in the way or there's always ego of course you like if there's an artist who tells you they they don't like get compliments from other people it's bullshit of course that feels good technically you're not a 3d artist you're just prompting because it's not created in 3d tool in a 3d tool well yeah but like an artist like if you take the away the 3D, I'm still an artist like the, right? Like, like question to you guys, don't you like when people are like, yes, that's a cool piece of work you did there. I really like that. And they comment that. Isn't that human that you enjoy that, that this makes you feel good. I don't know. I really like there's people who try like to humble brag uh, and stuff. Like I do that too. But it just feels good. It's okay. It's But do you also have a problem when someone compliments you that you are always in such an awkward situation? Yeah, it's sometimes it's awkward. Even like in real life, especially when there's like people standing around you and treating you like like you're just solved like it's a bad big pro problem or so I don't know. It's just like sometimes awkward, but it's it's okay. It's just like yeah. Uh, I like if someone gives me a really good critique on my piece. So that that's the thing. That's also an ego thing. Depends how they word it. Like I really good critique is all. It's like appreciated, yes. But it depends strongly on the mood and everything. <laughs> uh, what I what I don't like is too many compliments or making a bigger deal than it actually is. So what I don't understand, like on Friday, I was at the party and a very close friend of mine said that I am like a star and I actually don't feel like one. Like I'm, 
like my my freelance career my professional career is actually not like really impressive i never worked on a game like okay like a little bit maybe i never worked on a movie or anything i was paid really badly for all my career in like my professional career when i was freelancer or employed I was never like extremely successful. Like you can have like like I had I don't have the crazy client portfolio or anything. So like like pro from a professional standpoint, when it comes to like business stuff, I really suck as a freelancer. So I never made the crazy money. Like with NFTs, I did crazy money, but not with. I don't know. Like my day rate is was for for the most part four hundred bucks, and I str really struggled to pay taxes and everything. It was always a big struggle for me. I was always I hated it. I hated the clients. Uh, I was lazy. I was depressed all the time. I hope not everyone is listening right now. Like former company people, no. But it's like like. The last company I worked for, they paid me like that was a fair pay, but it was like I I wasn't like good at it really, like I'm a shit shitty professional 3D artist. I am like really good when it comes to doing my own shit, <laughs> right? But like if you sit me in an office and tell me, hey, can you do that now? Like can you do that car commercial? I I can guarantee you that it's not like super amazing to work with me probably <laughs> I hope not everyone's listening right now all right I have to read the chat now I I wonder if that would change now. So if I would start freelancing again now, could I be more picky? Maybe I just didn't. Uh, what's that? Can we reset that? Yes, sir. I wonder if I would start freelancing now or start again, if that would change. Maybe this, I don't. Maybe I just have don't have the right mindset or anything like freelancers in the chat got people who actively freelance for over a year now and doing good and having enough money and the jobs aren't too stressful and anything i always had the feeling that i'm pretty incredibly stressed out couldn't do what people want me to do like there's like a like a knowledge limit like create like a shot like a car a commercial or something like super crazy that would take weeks and i don't know how how are you guys doing that <laughs> i worked on a movie as an internet i sponsored some weeks ago oh nice i knew some people from i sponsor back in the day I like I still know them, but they're not at Ike sponsor anymore. Yeah, so that's pretty boring. We're just downloading stuff now. Right. Planning and experience. Well. <laughs> I can't say that I have experience, but I probably I don't know why. You do some uh you do you know someone at the mill? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, eight years of freelance now a little bit stressed but I have lots of little projects in motion design who are simply for me I also had jobs where they were like yeah can you model me that and I did that and got like a couple thousand bucks and that was it that w were the nicest jobs where I was just like some step in between <laughs> 
Uh, I would tell you uh, uh, if you have specialized in industry implementations, go relatively quick. Why, what do you mean by that? Uh, stress only rises when clients are not educated. Yeah. May I, maybe I just had bad clients then. I don't know. Oh, look. Look at it. Look at it go. <laughs> uh, okay, we can also download that. Let's check how these look. I don't know. We, can, we can't really check them. Just see if there's like a very obvious fuck up here uh okay there is something wrong here that's not correct also it's all out of frame uh, out of focus why is that well it sucks do we have to do up upload it again do, uh, do you think NFT is that? Uh, no, it's not. I am pretty sure it will come back in one way or another. Okay, we can't use that anyway. That sucks. All right, so what are we going to do now? Uh, have you used the autofocus in the camera? Possible. <laughs> uh, no, I did not. I just forgot to animate the focus. A stupid. Yeah, so it's here. And in the last frame, it is there. <laughs> Hello, Vogur. Hello, Dinosaur. Uh, I only do Arcvis and there I have no stress because I'm relatively fast and the implementation can work off several jobs in parallel. Oh, well, that's good. I hated Arcvis. I I have to say, it was not my my thing. What are you making now? Uh, we are rendering and fixing errors. Man, maybe now it's too late, but telling you I have to look at GSG uh, Gorilla Cam and help me so much. Uh, no, it's uh, I don't have a problem. It's just my stupidity that is in the way. Like, I I don't need camera shakes or anything right now. Um, okay, so let's fix that really quickly. Okay, so we go here. I think that should be fine, right? Uh, what's that mean? The eight seven six eight seven six is a union in in the ficti uh, fi fi fictional city of Delphi, a workers' union. It's like some lefty shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, so we have this animated or keyed and then we just go to the last frame and then we pick the focus again and then we key that again and that's pretty much that how could i miss that uh that's also wrong we need this one oopsie doopsie okay It's not just the camera shakes. At subtle defocus makes the cam so much more human, if I can say so. Uh, but does it work with Octane? But I actually like knowing what it exactly does. So I would rather set that up myself here somehow, I think. I don't know. Maybe have a look at it. Thanks, though, for, for recommend, recommending that. Uh, by the way, 
Um, Omega Fox. So if I just put the frame now to minus one and export it as ORBX, is that it? So I would just put that there and then render it from zero and it would just, so uh, ORBX can actually go negative and never like negative zero, that would work. I have a question, I think I'm um, too much begin. So does having or not having HDR have a big impact on the render? Do you mean HDR or HDRI? Uh, normally yes, but I don't know how the moth are animated. They are baked down. So they are going back to minus 10. We have, that's just an a, 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 a lambic. HDRI. So HDR just means high dynamic range, which could be like an HDR picture, which is just um, uh, um, the depth, the the, the bit depth of the image, which means you can change the exposure and gamma and everything. HDRI means HDR. It's probably like a lighting thing. Uh, yeah, and if you need that, it makes sense. But there's like this. The all these pictures here are not lighted with with HDR images. Yeah. So yes, it will work, but the frame zero my minus one will be displayed as frame zero on standalone. So you just have to select frame zero on Arndia if you want if you want it. Yeah, I mean we can so it will just render 102 frames instead instead of 101 if I set minus zero to 100. I don't understand. I'm sorry, that's probably a language thing. So, um, I don't know how to explain that. You don't need HDRI if you don't need it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes it does not make sense. Like for this, not make sense in my case, but maybe it does for you. So HDRI, good thing. But not always. It's not your fault, Vogua. All good. Namaste. Um, okay. How long will that export then take? Let's just save that. And hope for the best. Can we also just disable this one? And then go here. Oh, that's gonna be take. That's gonna take forever. I, 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 f I feel like. I don't know. Can I just override it? Yes, we can. More coffee. No more coffee. <laughs> up the unions unions kicking off here in the uk yes i'm also a, a supporter of unions so how many people of the audio audience right now are pissed off because my take on on ai just asking is anyone angry with me <laughs> just want to know <laughs> And then I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, no, my my take on H um, on AI was that I don't really have a take, <laughs> and that I understand understand the people that are pissed off, and but I also like the technology. And it's really hard to have like a stand there. I don't know. Just don't like the hateful shit people post. I always like when people are hateful. It's, it 
it's uh like i saw people post stuff like uh we should like unfollow all these artists cancel them because they're using ai Oh, the wife wrote me. Uh, what is Delpha? Delpha is everything I do. Actually, no, someone else explain what Delpha is. Did you ever try that batch or a BX exporter from Dino? Uh, isn't that that thing here? The that's the newer one. Isn't that like, isn't that the Dino or BX exporter batch thing? Dino is here in the chat, so maybe he can answer that. So no, MDEF, uh, Delpha is a fictional uh, city state. Okay, so this won't take that long. Maybe we can render that still. Also, this one, not good, but we, can we re-render, re unselect, accept, okay, let's just, can we just delete that one? I guess we can, right? I mean, we're not going to use it anyway, so. Alrighty. Yes. Oh, you have to accept the frame to pay the note. Deleting job accepts the pending frames. Why is did I now fuck it up for everyone? I'm sorry. I didn't know that, but I will re-upload that and people can render again. Sorry if I just deleted it and I thought it would be like, okay. Today is a feel quite insecure about everything I do. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want anyone to be disappointed in me. <laughs> I came here to the stream to see greatness and I just saw you fail, Cornelius. How dare you? <laughs> like, actually, there, there, no Vogur. You are not a loser. You're part of our family. No loser. Vogur, good. <laughs> there is a, 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 a lecture by Adam Savage about failure, which is really good. I want to share that with you guys. It's 11 years old. And it's a DEF CON. Right? He's take, giving a lecture about failing. It's you should watch that, guys. I think failure is very important. People need to fail. We all need to fail. Without failure, there is no. Failure is the key to success, in my opinion. 
All right, so. Yes. Jeez, let's not go there. I'm sorry, Hanlov. It's probably. <laughs> Am I only talking about uncomfortable topics today? <laughs> but no, it's really important, guys. Embrace the failure. Uh, let's fail together, guys. Let's be clueless and stupid. Let's embrace the fact that we don't know shit and learn from, from our mistakes. I think that's healthy. What about success? Is it not important for success? Like, yes, of course. I think most people are who, who are really successful have two uh, things in common. They failed a lot and they are doing it for, for quite some time now. It's never like you find someone who is extremely successful over a period of time that did, didn't fail. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got kind of got tired of failure. I can understand that as well. I don't know. But I think that's just part of the game. Right. Okay, so these downloaded all. Finished, finished, finished. That's a good thing. Um, so, these are not finished though. That's a, probably a slower note. Yeah, I mean, we technically don't need that first frame anyway, but hey, let's render that. It's interesting that you're calling it a game. Uh, I don't know. It's just a f way of saying it. Yeah, also taking breaks is... Uh, it's a good good thing should all take breaks oh no i don't want to listen to that song why do i have that in here then let's do that okay uh i need to go to the toilet real quick and then uh, i'll be back uh, it's gonna take 20 seconds or so and um yes be right back Hello. Like, I don't know, but I'm off. I, I didn't think about the, the, the phrase uh, game. It's just like how you say it. It's made, might not be a game. <laughs> so it's, trouble is you never start with uh, that kind of mentality. I'll fail. You hope you'll do good. You do shit, then uh, you do shit, then start again. It's the number of fucking restart that gets me down. It's all yes, but I don't know. I'm not wise enough for that yet. 
maybe in 20 years I can tell you, well, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> you know? And we are almost done with that part, at least. Also, let me close the WhatsApp. Okie dokie, and then we have to upload that. That's scary though, the upload part. Because uh, I'm streaming right now, that means I'm uploading, right? I wonder if that's gonna fuck up the bitrate. But it's only 800 megabytes, so we should be fine. If I zip it before that. Uh, okay, so these are fine. Let's do cam cam 06 and then cam 08. I actually do that cam 09. So 6, 8, and 9. Also, I got a can of soda. Uh, is it done now already? Jesus, that was fast. So we go to animation, artsy. Which one was it now? RC08, right? Yes, sir, it was that one. So we delete that one. Then we zip that again. Zip. How's your blood sugar level? Uh, no, that's a low, low sugar San Pellegrino. How much sugar does that contain? Two grams. So it has 10 kilocalories, the whole bottle. It's not actually very sugary. It also doesn't taste sweet. It's more like, um, you know, these waters that are like, Tastes a little bit like something more like that. Is that so? Two grams of sugar is enough for a day? Oops. Isn't that when I eat carbs? Like I'm probably like the majority of the people I'm addicted to sugar. I don't know if that's two, is two grams Wait, how much how many grams of sugar per day? How many grams of sugar per day? So uh the AHA suggests strictly added sugar limit of no more than 100 calories per day, about takes even 24 grams. Hmm. Daily intake of sugar. Uh, ideally it's zero yeah so that's 37 grams per day but i think i'm good with that right when it's two grams in that can also i didn't take any sugar in in my in my coffee or anything All right, did I zip that? Yes. Okay, now let's check what R&DR thinks of that. If I upload the the scene, um, that's Cam08, right? That is this one. Let's delete that scene. 
because obviously that's not the one we want. And if that breaks the stream, I'll see you on the other side, I guess, right? So we put that here. And we'll just upload that and it's probably gonna fuck everything up for us. Bitrate. Hello bitrate. If if you have if it's if it's gonna go bad, please tell me. Hey dude, how often do you stream? Uh I I I've your art a lot on Twitter and been a big fan of it. Um I stream Monday to Thursday, six hours a day, but like around Christmas time and especially this week, uh, not that much. Probably I will keep it short. But yeah, usually six hours a day, four days a week. Also, thank you very much and welcome, Psy. Saw this TikTok recently about Panera root beer, uh, where 350 milliliters have 82 grams of sugar and 260 grams milligrams of caffeine. I've heard that people who stop eating sugar have actual withdrawal symptoms, like crazy withdrawal symptoms. They feel like they have the flu and get all shaky and shit for for a few days, and it's gonna. It's like a like like a bad experience but uh after that they feel great maybe we should do that <laughs> at some point they do i have some now oh i mean yeah sugar is actually a drug like people are addicted to it i never did that though maybe i should do that maybe it's good for me right Maybe I stop being such a little bitch then. <laughs> Vogua, what did you send us there? Shall we watch that? So Vogua sent us something. Oh, I don't know if you can use that though. Let's just look at the visuals. Oh, that's looking awesome. Vogua, did you do that? Vogua, good job. I like it. I would say that's a good project. Very nice. Oh, almost done. It's good, exactly. Like it's a sugar detox. It's not that bad as I make it, Tom. Very doable. Maybe I should do it. How old are you, Hyamov, by the way? Uh, only if you want to answer that, but just like out of curiosity. Doesn't sound like something uh, like an 18-year-old would do. <laughs> just start a carnivore diet. Just meat, salt, water, no sugar. I'm 40. Is that actually a thing? Carnivore diet? I always thought meat and like meat would be not that great for you. I always thought being a vegan is the most healthy thing. Vegan without sugar. I don't know. I don't know. And we're done. So it's processing that scene now and then we can render that. Jordan Peterson. I uh, know. I think Joe Rogan does that. I don't know. Or that John Peterson as well. I don't know. You will get constipated first work if you only eat meat. Isn't that also super expensive to only eat meat? Can't you get like cancer from that? Isn't meat like uh, bad for everything? I don't know. I have no idea, guys. Never read anything about that. No information. Just like guessing. <laughs> Don't mind me guessing here. Can you make this? Um, so he's asking if I could make, like I could make something like that. 
Probably. Oh God, no, it looks very complicated. So I, I, I would say probably well, it would take a while. So it's going to take a long time for me. Because I'm also not like a great animator, right? And that shit here, I don't know how they did that. So it's probably a lot of trial and error and stuff. So, but like I could build at least all of, all of that. It's not, you don't get cancer, but isn't like the consumption of meat linked to uh, uh, heart diseases and stuff. Have you seen the new Oppenheim trailer? Uh, Oppenheimer trailer, it feels so abstract. Yes, I've seen that. You think it's difficult or not? Yeah, it's very difficult. Mugua. Very difficult. Like, I obviously, Halmov, like, I'm not, you pro, you know more about that than me, so I'm just asking questions. It's just like, I had, I, I think, no studies linked to heart disease from meat. Really? Isn't that like if you eat like pork and beef? Isn't it just like not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you cook the meat. You can eat meat daily with no problems. The fats are low. Oh, also high meats. Pork and beef are good for you. Really? Okay. Again, not arguing with you, Halmov. You probably did a lot of research on that, so... I'm just being... I'm like just asking questions here. So this one, still rendering, six in progress. This one is not starting. Why is that? Also, this one is still at 99% because that note here is very slow. Well, can we wait? That looks fabulous, I have to say. Good morning, meets. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I said GM, but I think you missed it. Oh, I'm sorry, meets. I know, I'm just replying to your question. If you're interested in losing weight and being healthy, do your own research. Uh, yes. Do I come off as very unhealthy? Probably, right? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm a little bit overweight. I'm not doing any sports. Well, yeah, I do go to the gym once once a week, but that's only recently. But um, like people sometimes say I'm actually not, don't look that chubby, but technically I'm overweight, but I'm also very tall. So if I would just tell you my weight now, you would say, okay, he's a big boy, but I'm also like two meters tall, right? So it, it it's, uh, distributes. <laughs> Not like I'm, if I would be like 5'5 five, five for the Americans or like, I don't know, 175 for the, for the, uh, for the, uh, Germans and everyone else. <laughs> and probably I would be very fat, but, um, Right now, I'm. I would say I'm. I'm a chonker. 
Uh, to be honest, when I met you, though, uh, I thought you were shorter. Now I feel you're sitting on the floor on stream. <laughs> yeah, I, that's always the, the same thing, the same reaction. Oh, I didn't know you were so tall. Artzomex did the mocap for the word world serpent and uh, God of War, so the animals can get the weights right. <laughs> yes. No, I'm I'm two two hundred centimeters tall. I'm pretty big, six five six or something. Uh, also, uh, natural sugar like bananas or dates, uh, that's no harm. Uh, but soda and snacks sugar, that's evil. Isn't there like a word for that? Wait, what is that? Is it like refined sugars? and fruit sugar or something, right? But with that height, you must eat like 3.5 K calories to maintain. So you gotta eat. Yeah, that's like, I'm a big eater. I eat a lot, but I'm also tall, right? And when I was on a diet, was like, yeah, you can eat like 2K easy. <laughs> That's like eat. Wait, I have to write the wife. It's about the dog. I think the problem is just me snacking on on unhealthy shit. Like if I would skip the butter, <laughs> loads of butter and sugary stuff, I would probably be would probably be good. But now that I have a dog, I am forced to go outside every day three times. So. That's good. I'm that type of person who can eat 5,000 kilocalories of nothing or nothing, and I do not gain or lose weight. It sucks. Hmm. Well, why does that suck, though? <laughs> it's, it's, there are worse problems than that. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's maybe that might be over when like Tom, you're still very young. So technically you didn't even peak yet, right? You're 18. So you will peak at 25 when it comes to like body fitness and like the the body processes and your everything. Yeah, also 33. Like at some point when I was 25 or 26, I just, like I was skinny back then. <laughs> it's just, wait, there's actually pictures of me. Isn't there? Wait, maybe I can find one old. Is there, isn't there like a picture of me where I was like extremely Like a really cute and hot emo boy. <laughs> uh, wait, can I find that old stuff? No, that's not the one. I can't find it now. I'm sorry.
Oh, by the way, did it process already? Oh yes, it did. Okay, let's create a new job then. Mm -mm. Wait, no. That's the correct one, right? 08. Okay, so here it says now that I still have just... Um, 100 frames. Uh, Omega. What is up with that now? Shouldn't it be like 101? 0 to 101? Can you check the Aura BX and standalone? Yes. Uh, give me a second. Uh, which one was it? 08, right? Aura BX 08. Made this back render for fun right now while watching your stream. Jazz, I will check that out. Look at that. That's some mighty fine translucency. Very nice. Thanks for sharing that with us. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, now I moved it. Uh, I don't think they 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 still don't have motion blur. Like that's the DOF. Uh, what do you think about the RDX 4090? It's pretty neat. So. What's that? Ah. We noticed that your job was confirmed with 101 frames. Oh God, Omega, you're right. That's stupid. Yeah, okay, never mind. I should have done that. No, it actually does not work like that. I can't go below. But it will just cap that, right? So it would offset that and if I, sh I should have set it like that pre pretty much right but it would only take from 0 to 102 uh, uh, 101 anyway so it doesn't matter <clears throat> so I would rather like cut frame 0 and then have 101 frames because it goes from 1 to 101 Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. That one frame I can doesn't matter really. You won't even notice that. Um all right, so let's take this EXR output 32 bit DWAB ACES CG uh render tokens priority uh what was that actually? That was uh, six. And how long did it take? Five minutes or something. Let's say, I think it was five minutes. Create the job. So this is done. 
that's still rendering for in progress, but also almost done. This is still, <laughs> this is still rendering. <laughs> ah! Uh, what's your thought on found the motion design of Fire Explorer? Uh, I haven't used that. I know a, I have a friend who did something similar, and it's called Anchor Point. Um, and I'm like, okay, is, is it the same thing? I don't know. But yeah, uh, you can also render this frame zero locally. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can. That poor 3060. Oh, that's a 3060. <laughs> so oopsie. <laughs> Yes. La la la. This gonna be finished before this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yes. Also, maybe close that. <laughs> no. Alrighty. Um, rendering away all the all that sweet R and R. I hope it's gonna be enough for the whole project. <laughs> Okay, this one's making good progress. Almost two in progress. Oh, okay. Maybe it will really finish all of them. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna be finished before these. Ah. Okay, one left. Please that. Can you sing? No. I'm sorry. 
I'm a bad singer. You will have enough RDR for the big corner shot in 4K, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Unprofessional. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Jeff. <laughs> Which three the others can sing in today's day? Well, uh, what do you use for human renderings? Uh, do you mean what um, for the render engine? Octane. I use Octane, and the models come from Das. Is that Niels? Yes, sir, it is Niels Fram. Very nice music. Uh, did you model the guy? Which guy? Uh, I thought you would like uh, high res, uh, like three D scans. Yeah. So the plan is for the when whenever I do another human model, uh, that I transfer their textures to that. So I use the 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 um, base mesh from Das, and then use three D scan store stuff. Uh, the guy in Blitz, yeah, that's from Das, with custom textures and stuff. And hair and everything. So it was still pretty hard to do, even though the base mesh came from Das. Oh, all right. We're done so with this one at least. So review all the frames. Uh, is there like an obvious mistake in here? Something we need to re render? Like from the first glance, it doesn't look like it. Nope, looking good so far. The ass textures are so bad. Ah, well, depends. You can still work with them. But I'm not a character modeler. So it would take 10 years plus to get to a point where I'm like, yep. That's quality shit now. <laughs> then uh, Das is just a shortcut, really. Uh, hello, Mobis. Okay, frame ID 100. Uh, I think I know a guy you will appreciate. Really? Okay, that's camp six, right? So we just download everything. Um, and paste that here. It's gonna take a while. Spent the uh, first two hours with the stream just rendering and downloading stuff. I'm sorry, guys, but that's the reality of the job sometimes. Oh, which one is that? Hadi Karimi. Oh, that's crazy. Wait. Um, look at that. That's uh, Kurt Cobain. That's pretty neat. Uh, Niels and Olafuana, it's make an amazing duo. Yes, like them both. 
he even had has the 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 small pimple thing the trademark uh bale pimple oh that's a big boy though why is it so big Holy fuck. Wait, what? Is it the crypto match shit? Light IDs, light IDs, light IDs. Six, seven, all right. Post processing reflections. That's just too many passes. Okay, that's what she said. Oh, yes. It's the same with this one, right? 1,400 files. All right. I mean, that's gonna take a while. Uh, it is also almost done. <laughs> All right. Uh, just wondering about why don't you have all of the passes merged into one EXR instead of each pass? Um, so multi-layer EXR works in certain ways, uh, but um, the process of using apps that actually support multi-layer EXR uh, is quite new to me. So I just recently started using Fusion. And I think, can, does Fusion can do that? I don't know. So... If I work with Photoshop, for example, Photoshop can't do multi-layer EXRs or just with the like workarounds. Uh, for the animation part, part, it would be okay, but it's also no big hassle for me to just do it in in separate passes. Now I'll have them separated. It's just like it feels safer for me at this point. So that's the reason. It's not like... Yeah, I just don't know the workflows yet. I'm not so sure that it will actually work and I didn't try that yet. So I would just go with with um, separate layers. Uh, Photoshop can work with multi-layer EXR only if you have that plugin. I have that plugin, but it's still, it's also no big deal to just render it out separately. Like there's no downside of having more files. File amount doesn't actually mean anything. It's just the size, but I think the, it would be the same, uh, the same size. Multi-layer doesn't even, I, I don't think that would save that much. Yeah, that's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> you can maybe raise that uh, we have six we can go to eight I think safely um, oh 99% What's with that one? Maybe you have broadband band one day. Well, I technically have 100 Mbits. So I could go up to 11, I think, roughly. And just like for the stream, I don't know if I can go that high. Let's go maybe nine. Nine we can do. So that's nine megabytes per second. 
But yeah, maybe someday I get a f like five or something. Like I could actually go for that now, but it's just like we don't use it that often and it's fairly expensive. <laughs> uh, 100 megabytes potato server. Like Mbit would mean 11 megabytes, like 10 to 11 megabytes per second. So I have 100 up, uh, down, and 40 up. How much per month? So right now I pay 36 euros a month. And like I could go to one gigabit and it would be like 100 something euros per month. Like compared to other countries, it's probably cheap still, but. One thousand up, one thousand down. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Yeah, Germany also like Germany is isn't that far in terms of internet. We also have uh, still uh, no flat rate data volume in our mobile contracts. Right. So that means you have like. I don't know, 2 to 16, depending on your contract, uh, gigabytes you can download, and then it's it caps that, and you're limited to like 5 kilobytes a second or something, or 15. And it's one of the very few countries that still work like that. Like in other countries, you just have your, your mobile thing, and then you have 5G and can spend as much as you want. But Germany still is... Nope! Only 10 gigs for you. It's just uh, limited. But yeah, I like if you go to Iceland, everyone has like, yeah, 5G everywhere. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I pay 200 US dollar a month for 950 down, 45 up. Interesting that it's like usually you have uh, ADSL like asynchronous. That's normal. Um, but that's a quite a range from nine hundred fifty down and four forty five up. Oh, all right. We're done so. Let's check. Is there still? Uh, looks fine. Yeah, that looks okay-ish. Come to France, it's 30 euro for 8 gigabyte down, 1 gigabyte up. Oh, Jesus, really? Crazy. Like we can get gigabit, but it's super expensive. Like, like let's check. Wait, net cologne, right? Net cologne. That's my ISP. It's also like the houses have wired up by them, so it's probably best if you choose them. And then you say you want internet, right? So internet, you want just internet. No, no fiber. We don't have fiber here, but we can go with with cable, coaxial cable which also can get gigabit. That's one gigabyte down. So one gigabit down, 100 up. Okay, 70 euros a month. Not, not 100, but it used to be 100. 70. Still very expensive. That's double the price we would pay now. I think we have this one. And now the wife is messaging me.
Yes. Okay. Um, I think they all look okay. I can't really spot anything very obvious that is bad, but let's check again. Not that we regret the rendering date. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let's just select all frames, accept them, and then download the outputs. That's number eight. Copy to clipboard. They don't have competitors that provide a better offer. Uh, yeah, but it's just like not really like crazy different to that. It's not like really, oh, I save hundreds now. They're also not the most expensive one. The most expensive one is probably Telekom in Germany. Because they own the cable net. Not the cable, but the, the phone wires the internet runs through. It's privatized. So Elon is stepping down as Twitter head. Well, that's good. I hope. Not not the biggest fan of Elon Musk, I have to say. Can I get a hoo ya? Hoo ya. East Europe, Eastern Europe is uh, laughing at the speeds you guys are sharing. Yeah, I I think like Bulgaria or something. They have like crazy internet speeds there the Czech Republic as as well right I think uh Philip Hodas told me once uh that how how fast this internet is it's just like crazy fast we stick to rocket science he's doing a good good here I guess uh, I don't know I I think he's Elon Musk is a is praised more than he deserves it to to be frank i don't think he's that intelligent or i don't know he's probably not stupid either but it's also yeah but just just my take on that i uh, don't know him um czech republic romania bulgaria ukraine yeah I'm half serious here, as you can tell via the highlight, but will you Zomix be my 3D dad? Uh, sure. It's downloading and downloading. He might be intelligent, but he's eccentric. Yeah, also that whole meme thing and making a joke out of everything and taking nothing really serious, uh, like and that that like bullshit about the left and bad and evil and every, every, everything is too woke and bad and I don't know, it just feels like a broken record it's a little bit annoying also like people think there's like a big plan behind acquiring twitter uh, I think that was just like a bad mistake from his side so but no idea really
What is that? Munni! 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 Wasn't there like this guy? <laughs> He pretty much says, I am rich and fuck everything! <laughs> I think that's his intention, like you said, just taking it not no serious, so people start talking about him and what he uh, the hell he's doing. I mean, it works, right? Uh, guess uh, his plan is. Wait. Oh, also this one finished. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay, guys, I need to pee really quick. I'll be right back and then we'll download some more. <laughs> Just a second. Hallo. Uh, how do you guys deal with terrain building in C4D apart from world creator and stuff? Uh, no idea. Uh, that would be my answer. World, world creator and stuff. And Houdini. And... You probably can decimate stuff there too, right? So... <laughs> Not in World Creator you can, but you could do it afterwards. Like you can take the data from World Creator and decimate that while keeping the UVs. Uh, wait, did we do that already? Right, right, that worked. Okay. So, copy this. Wait, which one is that now? Cam 9. Cam 6, Cam 9. Alrighty. He had to apologize for saying Taiwan is a country and it blew up as a meme. 
Jesus. Um, it's uh, on on the ice from Lawn. Here you go. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, now we have to wait, right? Wait, which one did I already download? Today, I mean. It's not like one I already downloaded. Corner store renderings. Actually, that's like the artsy renderings, right? Maybe I should rename that. Okay, so these are already rendered. That's not rendered, cam six. So what was cam six again? That one. Isn't that already still downloading? Yeah, it's still downloading, cam seven. Okay, so cam seven, almost the same thing, right? Um, so we go to this one, RC04, I think it is. Cam seven, yes. Oh, what? Okay, it looks okay. Uh, shall we just open that and start grading? Uh, Sylvinar, Moinsen Corny, Lucas. Oh, hi, Lucas. Another Lucas. So many Lucases. Uh, welcome to the chat. And uh, yes, alles gut hier. Ich hoffe bei dir auch. Also, why is Fusion, Fusion opening on a, on a second monitor? Uh, just notice you got four 3090s. Yes. Four of them. Them NFT money. Uh, yeah. I have to admit that's true. I bought it with the NFT money. <laughs> uh, no, Tom. Halmov's reaction says I won't listen to that now. It's probably going to stress me out. <laughs> okay, dokey. Um, so if we check this one. Let's check that. It's probably high res, right? I'm planning to get 149 enough to sell my house, my kidney, my left arm, and probably one of my eyes for it. Uh, yeah, 49 is pretty expensive, right? So, Lucas, how are you doing? Oh, that's a stressful song. I want to listen to something easy going now. What is easy going? Like. And then like focus. All right, so that's looking fire. And now we want the animated version of that. So we go to frame zero. And now it froze. That's so great. Zero and then 100, 100. Okay, I guess. Hundred. 
Gott, thank you. Okay, so. That's the high res. That's the one we don't want. So we go in here. And can't we just delete all of them? No, obviously not. So we have to do it like that. Crazy. That sucks. Uh, 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 the PC work two projects 2022. That's corner store renderings, highest P renderings, corner store cam 07. It was right, yes, sir. All right, so light ID one, yes, and from here, we just replace all of them. Wait, why? Then I go in here, cam 07. Can I please add that to the favorites here? I don't want to go in there all the time. Yes. And now please, okay, almost. Light ID three. Light ID four. Light ID five. Light ID six. And then light ID seven. That's a lot of light IDs. Folder naming giving me elastic flashbacks. Really? But it's 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 my system, <laughs> not elastic system. But maybe I, I, I put it in there. I just, uh, I just hit, you just hit me, and I just hit my head with a car. Are you blind? I have no idea what you mean, ghosty. Oh god, just really having a very main, manly death due to cold. Two weeks already. Fuck this shit. Oh. You're not the only one then, because I, I heard that from a lot of people. Alrighty, okay, so this is looking a fire. And then we still have this one, so that's the translucency, right? Or is it transmission, I mean? Yes, transmission. Then we have the SSS. Yes, sir. Then we have the reflection. We have all of it. Reflection. Yes, sir. And then we have post-processing. So it should technically look very great. Okay, uh, these two we don't want. These, this one we could actually use. Format, we just need that. Export, we can say we want DWA. Uh, yes. And then we say um, pump out. Oh, also this one is probably not the one we want. So wait, just let me check really quick. How did I name name them here? It was CSRC03 CAM05. So in this case, it is 
CRRC04. Ja, RC04. Cam 07. And then don't forget the .exr because last time we did, don't, didn't do that and it fucked everything up. So save that. Everything else should be okay. And then we just press render, I guess, and save the whole thing. Wait, what? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Hello, Zach. How how is you? Listen to Agnes Obel. Here it says, you touch, you buy. How long does this take still? Oh, this one is finished already. Look at that. That's cam number six. Oh, now I opened Substance Painter by mistake. Always happens. Can we just say end task because nope. Maybe I should move that shortcut. Okay, so this one is already finished. Camo 6. La, la, la. So, by the way, guys, for anyone who still doesn't know and is new to the chat or just joined later, uh, today will be a shorter one because uh, I am about to adopt this little fella. That means we need to do some cleaning because we uh, need to do a final go through to the apartment before I can give that to the uh, lady in charge of the adoption process. And this means, uh, yeah, so today will only be until 3 p.m. my time, which is in roughly one hour. And yeah, I wish Zomax would adopt me well. Go see, I, I don't think you're that cute. <laughs> um, yes, so this is the little, little doggy I gonna have as my little friend soon. And yeah, so that means also uh, the day sh she's arriving here, we don't, uh, I don't, uh, I, I won't stream because she needs like a little bit of adjustment time. And yeah, also there will be uh, the Christmas break at some point. So probably from here to there, or I don't know if I will stream between the, the, the New Year's, uh, maybe not 3D, maybe I'll stream a game or something. I don't know. We'll see. But in any case, I will keep continue streaming, obviously, forever. <laughs> so we will finish this project and then we start the next project. I promise you that, guys. Oh, render complete. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, can we open resolve and check? Uh, word see ya. Wait, what are you going, McDuffie? Are you leaving us? Please don't leave us. All right, so this works. Uh, so in that case, we go to the edit one. And then we go to the uh, uh, I don't understand McDuffie what do you mean 
I'm not leaving now. <laughs> oh, okay. You will never stop streaming and we will never leave you. That's so kind of you, McDuffie. Lots of love to you. So we need to go into the media pool. That's not the correct one though. We go to media, that's the one. Then we go to work two, projects 2022, renderings, high SP renderings, corner store number seven, was it number seven? I think it was. Oh, hello. Well. And then we go to edit and then we put it here. Well, there's not a single broken frame. That's surprisingly cool. It's also not the most exciting shot. <laughs> It's just like in combination with the other one, it works very well. Hello. Also, we can make like create like flickering for these here or for the screen or something. So that will be that might be uh, st still still like a good thing. Epic. All right, so that seven gig one is also done, which is cam 06. And that means uh, we saved that again. And we go to seven and just copy this one and put it here. And then we rename the whole thing. And then we open that. Uh, what connection speed you actually got in your apartment? Oh, that's funny that you asked because we had that topic like uh, half an hour ago. We have 100 Mbits down and 40 up. So not that crazy fast, but fast enough for our day-to-day -day life. Can we listen to something different? Silent. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that's depressing. Came in way late. Are you comping pass and exporting single EXR to get better, better playback? Uh, yes, I always do that. Like I comp out like that. And on, on top of that, there will be degrading then like, which is actually not crazy stuff. It's gonna be a little bit chromatic aberration, uh, film grain, and maybe some um, curves. Uh, also, Lucas just sent me a new track. Two versions. Okay, maybe I'll, I will listen to them later. Lucas, if you are here, I will listen to them later. Okay, so um, this is the other version. That means we're gonna, gonna do the same thing, the exact same thing. We're just replacing that here. Uh, we can activate that. Yeah, that's these lights. We can actually make them flicker if we want. Maybe that's a good idea. Also remove that. So this one, that's number two. Uh, maybe we should actually go in here and we can see that so number two is already replaced number three is not replaced where's number three number four needs to be replaced number five two that's a lot of light ids i don't know why why so many light ids though is it number six yes it is oh that's that's some enya guys like Enya? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sexy. Actually like Enya very much. Do you guys like Enya? Are you Enya fans? 
Where is the subsurface scattering? And then we need the reflection. That's this one. And the posts. Sweet. Alrighty. So this one we leave exactly the same. Just create a new folder. Oh, I always forgot to comp out. Let's hope this one also rendered without any problems. That looks fine. Saving that, pressing the button, and here we go. Um, if we can send tracks, I would recommend Overwork, Electro, EDM, that's kind of, oh, Overwork, Overwerk, I don't know, he uh, recently followed me on Instagram. A little render I made watching today's stream. Ah, sweet. That, that I actually like more than the one before. Like this one was also fine, but I think the black background works quite nice. Shall we check out some 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 overwork? So I I don't know if I like overwork. I never listen to the to the music. Let's check out some overwork. Oh, it's your new account. So guys, everyone follow follow Mr. Tyus following you now. And uh, yes, everyone check out Mr. Tyus, guys. Oh, that's... So what did we actually download so far? Is it still downloading? Oh yes, it is. Okay, no, that's really not my music right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too EDM-y. Um, I need to listen to something else, like something weird. Something like that. Can I have a small Insta boost too? Yes. So just link all your Instagrams and follow each other. Just write your Instagrams in the chat and then you follow each other, please. Let's do that. Show us your perfect music type. Uh, okay, what is my perfect music? Is there like, like something, like there are a few, uh, a few, like track wise or like albums what is perfection there are a few i think eric sarah leon the professional is pretty spot on perfection there's probably oh yeah a soundtrack from The Perfume. It's pretty perfect. And then Moby Play. You guys know Moby? That's pretty perfect. Oh, warning. Renner did not complete. What? Why? Just render that, you little bitch. Let's go. What's what's up with that?
Ah, uh, that could be. Uh, that's cam six, right? Nope, all there. They are all here. Maybe just one of them. Nope, looks good. There was actually like a connection error in here. Nope, also good. Very strange. 42, so it ran us to 41 and then there's like a fuck up somewhere. I wonder why though. Can you go to 42? So let's go to 42. So because it stops at 42, right? Maybe it's just a... Shall we re close this one? Never had that before. At 41 it stops, yeah. But 41 looks fine still. Uh, wait, let's close that. Uh, yes, okay. No. 41 still displays fine though. There's nothing missing. I mean, obviously it won't render after that. Okay, here's something. Light ID number three at frame 40. These work. That's not working, this one. Light ID 3. So wait, we have Light ID 3. That's the wrong camera though. That's the right one, light ID three, six, four, three. Oh yeah, frame 40 is missing. So didn't it render that or what, why is it missing? So it's not even in the list. Camera six. Uh, it is here, right? Yeah, it is. So otherwise it would have just said, nope, not there. So you would just go here and say 40 then. I just fed 60, 88 AD and multi shot into mid journey and generated some Cornelius style. Thank you for that. I think that's what the world needed. <laughs> Copy links to clipboard. Strange. Just light ID 03, right? Now I copied every everything. Um, it's okay. Um, can we, it's a strange, why didn't I, I mean, it's like a million links, maybe just drop that one. 
right? So we don't use this one and we just put that in here. And then I guess just say start downloads. Will it just overwrite them? Okay, it won't do that now. Can we force start that? Yeah, we can. Uh, no AI has used Zomex work in their training data. Uh, yes, actually, it, it, like it's in Lion 5B, the data set they all use. It's in there. 6088. AD is in there and 52 Hertz as well. And a few others. Wait, there's something odd. What? 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 Oh. That's strange. Yes, I see what you mean. That's very strange. Did I find a R and R bug? Uh, wait, let's see. I have to check. Um, let's first check if everything still works. So we go to the ID3 it was, right? Everything else was pretty much there. So ID3 should start at war 000. Yes. And then, I mean, it's there. goes to 100. Uh, yeah, and the have I been trained thing. Wait. I can't show you that. Here. That's the stuff I found. So these are all in there. Also like, obviously I didn't gave permission to any of this. I never gave permission to use them. The, that's from CG Society, that's from Maxon. Then some of them from are from wallpaper sites. Uh, I just put the picture in here, search using a photo, and I found them. Okay, but now that should work, right? Can we just say open now let's try again Yeah, I didn't find them by typing in my name because they, they were like weird po portraits and everything. Also 52 Hertz and all the image names, they didn't find a match, but people also don't credit my work usually. Like not always, sometimes they do, but most of them they just repost it without the artwork name, without my name. And so there's no way of finding them. From now on, let's watermark everything. 
thing we make with a bell for that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of watermarks though. So that's uh people sometimes do that, but it's so oh that's so annoying. Then you have that watermark over there. Can you opt out? Um yeah, I guess that's that's what I did here. Yeah, you have opted out the images shown below. But God knows how many are in there still. So I don't know. Also, it's not too many. I know like some concept artists who have like thousands of images in there. Uh, you can't delete your own messages here. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I, let's test that. Test. Why do you want to delete your message? I don't think you can. No, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know, there will be a lawsuit, 100%. The installing, I feel bad about it. I I I won't click on it uh, on it if you don't want. So let's forget you posted it. That's fine. I'm sorry. I I didn't click on it. Um. Yeah. So this is gonna be, at some point. Like the thing is the interesting thing. AI is it like the machine learning aspect of it is a black box, right? So once my image is in there can they prove that my image wasn't used by the AI to create a link? So if someone, there's some company like this, I don't know, let's say Sony or like some shitty record label, right? Some like universal music, for example, they put out an artwork and say, oh, it's made with an AI and then there's a lawsuit. Can they prove that they didn't use that? Because it's in the data set, right? AI is a black box. Like in theory, yes. What with the pictures there are of, like, what if I find out after five years there are still pictures of me in there? Can I sue them and get money? So I guess there will never be a... Also, like, there's probably models trained where they just say, fuck it. We don't have our address or name. We're just some people. Like, what... what keeps people from just downloading everything and training their own model. GPU is getting faster and faster and faster, right? At some point I can train my own model. Then that's going to be interesting. At some point, maybe there's like a way to, to put something into in the images that fucks with the AI, right? So there's like they have, there was this AI system that can can see, um, that can, can can recognize what is the content of an image. So it will just, you give him an image and says, okay, it's a, it's a bike, it's a sausage, it's, I don't know. And there was like people who hacked that. They print the 3D printed like a weird shaped object that looks like a turtle. They put it in and it, the, the, the AI image recognition system uh, rec recognized it as a gun. And yeah. It will inevitably come to artists training their own models and licensing them. Oh yes, please. <laughs> and then I gotta sue everyone. <laughs> okay, so did it render? Yes. All right. Uh, that was camo six, right? Yes, sir. Okay.
Uh, that's the wrong one. No, I'm obviously not going to sue everyone. But uh, that would be an option, right? So if they want to use my training data, they have to pay. Or that I can decide that there shouldn't be an AI model of that's trained with my pieces. So it is looking fire. Oh, yes. Oh. What's up with that? We have a oopsie. Wait, so we have one error. I guess that could be frame frame 40. <laughs> um, let's check. Delete everything. Start over. Whole project. That's frame number. Where can I see that? 56 though, that's a different one. Okay, yeah, it looks here, you can see a tile. Okay, that's just a faulty frame. Frame number 40 looks fine. Frame number 40 is perfectly fine. Can you check frames 40 and 41 to see a uh, light pass through isn't duplicated or the same on both images? Um, uh, yeah, maybe it's better to check that in Fusion. Um, actually, I have no idea. Why is light pass free even like it's dark? That's one, two, three is dark. I don't know what that is. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, number three is that there's no content in there. So, I don't know. Maybe you should check that. And cinema and check if that's actually still if that's it's a if that's you know if that's meant to be. <laughs> uh, that was number seven. Yeah, was that number six? Number six. Let's check that really quick. It's very well possible that there's just like an empty, empty, empty pass. Sometimes I am too lazy to check all the AOVs and I'm like, yeah, well, then let's render them anyway. <laughs> Create data trash. Okay, number three. Ah, it's that one. It's just not in frame. So technically it's there. It's just not in frame. Um, yeah, it's never going to be in frame. That's fine, though. So we need to re-render. Uh, so that one is, has nothing to do with the 40 and 41 frame. It's just, uh, it feels like there was something happening. I know it happens, right? Maybe the uh, PC crashed. Because here you can see that 
I know it's too dark too, right? I don't know what's up with that actually. Like it's too dark and you can see, I don't know if you can see that on Twitch, but here's like, you can clearly see Octane separates the image and tiles and they vary in size depending on how uh, much your Paro samples are or how little they are. And here you can clearly see that there's like a difference here. It's, it's a little bit more noisy than here and darker and I don't know, it's uh, probably just maybe a VRAM issue or something. Looks like a node with a mixed GPU, RTX, no RTX had a bug. Uh, but I can just re-render that one frame, right? That's 56, that should be fine. Um, so that means we go to jobs. Mm. Uh, which one was that? This one, right? Then we duplicate that one. Hey, Mr. Zong, is it okay if I drop a link to my no show reel? Yeah, sure. Also, hi, in clear. Uh, yes, you can, of, of course, you can link your show reel there. Here, sorry. Uh, we will watch it together if you want. Uh, that's all fine. Priority tokens, yes, uh, that I always forget. Uh, was that, I think it was like 15 minutes or something, right? Uh, do you have also YouTube? I don't have a Vimeo account, I don't know if that works. But... Oh yeah, it should work. Okay, I will watch it once I have set that up, yes. So we create a job. And then it should work. I guess. Is it still downloading shit here? Of course it is. Almost done though. Almost done though, as they say. Also, stream will just be another half half an hour, and then I have to end the stream because of doggo preparations. Okay, so that's your demo reel. Let's check that. Oh, I don't know if I can use the music, so I will just mute it. Oh, that looks very fancy. You bought it, but I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm showing it here. Or did you uh, like? Did you? Uh, or sh is it very important that I have the music on? Probably is right. But it looks very cool. Jesus, look at that. Okay, so it's covered. You say, Jesus. Epic. Okay. Oh, 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 that one. That. How do you do something like that? That's so cool. I would, no, no way on earth I could do something like that. I want that for me. Not blinking. This one, oh, that's so fancy. Sorry, I'm just focusing on the most boring part probably of the video, but this is so fancy. Is that like a preset or is it like, did you do that yourself? It looks very complicated to do. Yeah, everything else also looks great. Uh, I could probably do only 1% of that shit. It looks very complicated and and it looks like you know your shit. I would hire you 100% if I would be in charge of a company that needs that stuff. Also that one that 
it has like that comic-y painter-y effect and the the low frame rate and everything i know it's it's pretty solid advertisement work i would say Like, no, we couldn't do all of this. Nah, I'm not. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not an animator. I do like, I don't know. It's but it look all looks very cool. I have to say. Like, I mean, it's the typical advertisement stuff, right? But it's, I respect that. It's not like dark, it's lively, flashy, fancy and stuff, but it's cool. It looks fine. It looks very high quality, crisp and, and sharp and nice and smooth and all at the same time. It's just like very, very what, what I would expect, right? And it's fine. like this one also. Oh. Also, Jesus, Broad Roaster, thank you so much for your five gifted subs. <laughs> it wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> but it's a really, really, really nice reel, I have to say. Like that. Oh, look at that. Swoosh. But the best part is that right now. I don't know. Sometimes like these 2D animations. I mean, you can do that in After Effects, I guess. But it's just no way on earth I would know how to do something. <laughs> There's people who are really, like crazy efficient with these th things. Like Ash had like a, they, they did like a collaboration pro project for FITC Tokyo or something. And it was just mind-blowing they worked like half a year on that i think render <laughs> okay it's in pro in, in pro progress what's what's slowly.com is that what that thing showed Oh yeah, that website Slaoli. Wait, Slaoli. That website doesn't work though. It's offline. Oh, it's an SSL error. So if that's your website, Broad Roaster, maybe check your SSL connection, like your SSL certificate. But yes, great reel. Everyone watch it, please. Uh, oh, Jess, you, you sent a reel too. Let's watch that. Um, Juice Bro, what's that? Ah, that's, that's the juice. Ah, that's for that website, I see. Oh, that looks like one of those very inefficient. Is that, isn't that, wasn't there like that juice press where you had like buy proprietary juice bags and you could just do that by hand? In any case, it looks fantastic. Okie dokie, it's not rendering. Um, also, uh, Jazz wants to look at that reel. Wait, c do you have the rights for the music? Can I play that? Music Major Laser. No, I can't. Sorry. It's the instrumental. Well, it's still not going to risk that. Doesn't matter, actually, because the VOD track isn't in here in the VOD anyway, so 
Why do I bother? Yeah, so with a, no no offense, right? But I think they are on a different level, obviously. Uh, still cool, and um, so there's. Do you want any feedback, or do you just want to show? It's okay. And you don't have to get. I don't have to give you feedback if you don't want to. So I would say it's it, it's a little bit more designy, right? So when you see like current gen designers that come from a, from the university, they always have that they that these framed, very bright, colorful, pastelly framings with like type typo breaking the the layout and stuff it feels a little bit like that but it's the taste thing i i would prefer if all the videos are just full screen but you do you right <laughs> still have six months to graduate ah okay well solid work though keep on grinding it's not rendering <clears throat> Why is it not rendering? Is it still downloading? Oh yeah, it is <laughs> actually. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so it will take a little while. Uh, but still, except that one frame. Look at that. Oh, we are at one hundred percent. Can we fit that? Yes. I mean. Oh, right. Also animatable. We can animate the lights flickering and everything. Uh, but let's do that later. So, yes. Cash register. Then this one. Okay, just out of curiosity. So it's only 20 minutes left before I have to end the stream. I think we all we we downloaded the other shots, like the last two, and I I want to check out how they would look. So we have high SP renderings, right? Corner store. So that's shot eight and nine. I think that's gonna be epic. So we go here, eight and nine. Um, wait, where did we have that final? artsy and then great no fog and fog i don't know which one is which we will find out soon enough so we go to renderings high sp rendering uh cam 8 and then we need to just copy the name because i can't rem remember that so that's artsy cam Oh, eight, great, eight, yes. Um, yeah, so we open this one. And then, let's see, right? Oh, that's Hans Zimmer with a Call of Duty soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we listen to something else, maybe? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, I see. That's a big file. Yeah, that's the foggy version and the non-fog version all in one. Um, so I will just delete everything we don't really need. And then let's check really quick which one is the fog version. And I will just use that tree for comping because that's the one we actually use for both of them. I think then the bottom one will be fog version. Uh, or not. Also, yes, Jazz, good luck graduating. I hope you have the time of your life. University was really weird for me. <laughs> okay, that looks like it's not the fog version. Is that the fog version then? Or are they both not fog versions? Uh, it looks like you don't need me anymore. I got to focus more on work now. Yes, sorry. Uh, also, I don't want to, right? <laughs> don't keep you from work. By the way, that neon looks super nice. Thank you, Zach. Applied to the industry at the mill. Well, good luck with that. Uh, apparently, it's www.slowly.com. Doesn't work here either. It says this site can provide a secure connection. So I think there's an SSL certificate that's not properly, properly configured. Okie dokie. So we are using these. That's cool, right? Yes. Um, which one is that actually? Cam 8. Okay, so we delete and we go here, delete these, remove from history, yes. And that's light ID 1. And we just do the same old. So that means zero that out and then 100 here and it doesn't accept that. And then we go back here and say 100, right? Oops. Um, and yeah, okay. We do the same thing with everything. Let's just check this one and then we can see if we miss a pass or something. Once again, I don't know what, what's going on here. It's just annoying. Please, please, please. With sugar on top. Okay, at least now it works. That's light number three, right? Yes, then number four. Wait, didn't we? Did we do the right thing now? I guess, yes. So is it reflection? Yes. And here comes the refraction. Refraction and then post and that's, that should be it. Post processing. Sweet. I also slowly got to crawl back to some coding. I'll try to stop by more often in the future, just in case. Happy holidays, man. And make sure that dog is feeling extra comfy. Yes, I will do. Thank you, Lucas, for joining in, by the way. Um, let's hang out sometime. Maybe you can grab dinner or lunch or something. And I uh, wish you great holiday season as well. Okay, so uh, we don't need any ACES configurations. Let's go to format, change it up to DWA. Uh, everything else looks fine. Um, so we go in here and then create a new folder, comp out. Oopsie. 
come out. And yeah, then we need to go to, that's number eight. What was that again? That one. So back to number eight, comp out. And then it says it's RC05, this time cam number eight. And then we just do that, save that, save the file, and then rest rendering and hope that everything goes well. Okay, yeah, frame one as expected, shitty, but hey. I we keep saying that and keep failing, but yes, it's always the same. I have the same thing with Hoki. Lucas. It's just like you make plans and nobody has time. Everyone has kids or dogs or work. <laughs> it's, just, it's harder and harder to make the time. Mala gonna need uh, a collar with an engraved tooth on a coin attached to it. Yes, actually cool idea. Let's do that. Neo, good morning to you. How are you? How was your weekend? Uh, just checking if it already started. Still downloading. Uh, wait. Not started. Okay, now it's starting though, right? Yes. It's starting to render. Our depression stuff, right? The older we get, the more normal it becomes. We keep trying. See ya. Yes, see ya. Alrighty. Oh God, I hope these, these moths, <laughs> moths <laughs> look, look okay. Like the, the, the motion blur seems to work just fine. Okay, so we go to cam 08. Oh boy. I have to admit that looks quite sexy. Terrible learning, Rhythm UV, and a suck as hell unwrapping, even the basic stuff, dude. <laughs> it's so normal in the beginning. Like, once it makes click, like, there's, like, that phase where you don't really understand. Like, your brain could, like, make the transition from thinking in 3D to 2D. Because it's just, like, okay, you, like, I always... Now I know, okay, when I cut here, then I can unfold it like that, but that, that thing in your head, it's just like learning using a Wacom, right? So you look at the screen, but your hand is like, if you didn't do that motion before, it's just a little bit more complicated, uh, but it will, it will go, it will, it will, it will work after a while. Alrighty. So now only the big boy. Um, which means we just save that as the number nine. Which means we just go here, then we did that and that. 
light ID one. Yes, sir. Uh, that's light ID number two. Is that number three? Yes. Number four, uh, we have the ref and everything else. Is that reflection? Yes. Just making sure I don't choose the wrong ones. Like before, refractions and then post, I think I actually did choose the wrong one. Post processing. No, actually not. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Uh, I suck as anybody before, but I'm up to learning a substance. So uh, I guess I need to get that UV shit together. Yes, it's never a bad skill to, to know how to UV stuff. It's actually pretty damn powerful to know that. Even if you do procedural stuff. Comp out. Oops, I can't write. I write like a like a toddler. <laughs> and that's number nine. Save that. And then I guess that's just pressing that button again, right? Well, look at this. Uh, let me check later once that is rendered. What is that? Oh, yeah, Ian. Okay. Yeah, I know Ian is uh, crazy. Ian is crazy, crazy. Isn't he using Corona? Is that Corona? No, it's Arnold. Oh no, wait, that's Maya. And that's just like, I actually have no idea what he's using. Or there's a reflection of a dog. <laughs> nice. Okay, so um, as I said, uh, I will end the stream. Once we're done with that, we will just review it and then I will end the stream for the day. Goss the doggo is arriving soon. Like not today, but I have to prepare the apartment a little bit. Redshift, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> That's looking damn fine though, whatever happens here right now. Okay. And that's number nine, come out. Okay, let's check. So, uh, uh, uh. I don't know if the moths are that realistic, but it's fine. I, I think that's looking pleasant. Wouldn't you agree?
Okay, there's this one frame. These worked flawlessly. Epic. I'm pretty happy with that, I have to say. The textures and the wings don't scatter enough. Yeah, but it's fine. It's all motion blur anyway. Like frame one actually. Can we do that? Yes. No flickering neon. Yeah, yes, we can do that, but I, I don't know. It's gonna take some time, so uh, I'll do that uh, next stream. I would just make sure um, we have everything set up. Like the same goes for that shot here. Uh, we can do so much more. We, we have all the light pass. I can make that flicker here and maybe we can do something with the screen. I don't know. Um, it's just not like now I just prepared everything and then we have the fusion files and everything is ready set up without any glitches and then I can animate that. I think that's uh, more fun. Yes, but looking good. I'm pretty happy how that turned out. Uh, this is also done. Epic. Can we actually save that? One frame requires review. I don't know. We don't have anything. Um, let's download that. Let's download all of them. Copy to clipboard. Yes, sir. Let me do this. Yes, sir. Uh, no, not that. Uh, which one is that actually? Cam 6. Cam 9, Cam 6. Um, sorry. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, now it's downloading that rather quickly. Is the last one the big boy? I don't know. Maybe it would be cooler to render that before that. Like uh, now when we have them finished, like all of them, uh, I can start rendering the 60, 88, 80 shots. I think they are before the big boy and then we see, I don't know, the big boy, I think like every, all the corner store shots, I think I will render them last. <laughs> so. Yes. All right, guys. Um, that was pretty uneventful and short today. Uh, only streaming four hours <laughs> only, <laughs> but, um, still happy because uh that means soon there will be a doggo here a little doggo i'm pretty happy about that uh yes so i would say i'm gonna end it now because cleaning time and everything and yeah we see each other tomorrow if not if the dog's coming tomorrow, obviously, then not. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on the dog front and on the, on the, on the, on the, on the streaming front and everything. Um, yes. So, other than that, also Broad Draw Star, by the way, still again, thank you for the gifted subs. Appreciate it very much. It's very kind of you. Um, yes. So I would say, I say goodbye now. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for the support, the kind words. And, uh, yes, I love you all. <laughs> it's just it's like, you're my family. Also hook. Oh, you're still here. Hooky. 
I hope you have a great day, rest of the day. And yes. I don't know what to say. I just, I wish I could hang out longer, but it's, it's time for me to go. <laughs> so kisses and hugs to all of you. Mwah. And uh, be brave and see you tomorrow, I would say, right? So bye-bye, guys, and uh, peace out. <laughs> bye.